Hope your day's going well. I finally got around to taking a pallet and making a sort of generator enclosure. So what I did is I took a pallet, I notched it out right here so it could fit past this two by four and shoved the entire thing in a corner. Now it's actually being held by just this board right here, right here. On underneath it. And then I went and added some blocking like right there for instance and I just cut a scrap of two by four and put two screws going through one way and two screws going up into the pallet so it's attached to that two by four behind it and it's also attached to the pallet I did that pretty much everywhere I could you can see right here I did the same thing this is the corner of the pallet I just took a two by four kind of eyeballed when this was level by lifting up on it and then just marked where I wanted to cut this as a leg and just dropped it to the ground. It's not really permanently anchored or anything like that. Uh, it's just floating on this structure here. And then I just, I had to add this block because of this leg here in order to make this the same surface height so I could install this, <coughs> pardon me, this uh, pre-made siding here. Then what I did is I took the generator and I made sure that one leg went down to a joist here or to a two by four on edge. Then I just went in with a screw at every corner. To make sure it wouldn't vibrate away. Now it vibrates, sure, but it ain't going anywhere. So that's that. The generator enclosure has now been added to a portion of the rabbit hutch to be. So as we fin the ra finish the rabbit hutch, we will have this finished. And what I'll be doing to make sure nobody dies in here is I'm just going to get some flexible exhaust tubing and then I can mount it right here and it'll be going outside the structure and that's only for going to be for like a short while because this generator is going to get its own house away from all the animals it's not good for animals that have big ears to be by something loud like this hence the separation for noise uh, it doesn't cut it down completely but it does a great job so that's that. Now the goal is eventually to get the generator its own house. Uh, basically what I actually did is pretty much just built myself a workbench for the future. And I'm just temporarily mounting the generator here to get it off the ground to extend its life. Because uh, I've killed two currently with the sand and the pretty much exposure. But now that this is done, It'll last a little bit longer, long enough for me to get an actual mini house built where this can live insulated from sound so it's nice and quiet when it's running out here. But for now, this will do. Isn't that right? These cats love that this thing has stringers running all the way across it now. They absolutely love climbing it. Might as well be the cat slash rabbit house.